Hello everyone and welcome back to another MX Bikes video and today we are going to be checking out Hell Machine's brand new map and oh my gosh does it look so amazing. Hands down this is the best looking track we've gotten since this is the best look looking track we've gotten in like so long if not the best looking track we've ever had. This looks so good, and I know I'm a little bit late to it. I know I'm a little bit late to it. Um, this is like Steichenberg. I'm like gonna absolutely butcher it. Steichenberg, Steichenberg, <laughs> not Steichenberg, something like Steichenberg. Um, but this is made by the boy Hell Machine, dude. This thing took. I can't even imagine how long this map took like weeks if not month a month months um it's only two dollars on shop so i don't know if you've been paying the 150 for all of the uh for all of the what what you might call it all of, all of the this for all of the aerial tracks i think this is a hundred percent worth it it's definitely a little, whoa, a little bit of a skill, or not skill gap, I guess, but like, definitely, there is definitely some skill requirement for it. Um, I don't really know how you would ride it on a 250. I've yet to ride it on a 250. I've been only riding on 450. Um, I'm sure you could, you just have to find lines that you could ride on it, but uh, right now I've been riding on 450. And like I said, I am a little bit late to this, um, just because I didn't have the time to record it. Um, or like just, yeah, I didn't really have the time, but I had to check out this map. So if you're even watching this video right now, thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we've had some great support on the channel recently. We just hit 800 subscribers, and my most recent video has like 60 views in the first five hours. That's absolutely insane for me. Thank you so much. And yeah, we're going to keep pumping out content, but let's run some more laps on this track. And uh, props to, uh, let me just go into uh, some replay mode real quick. Thank you to uh, my boy, um, Noobmaster from Noob, Noob Racing. He actually hooked me up with this kit. It looks so good. I th actually thank him so much for it. Um, got my number back there, 636. It looks so good, dude. Props. Especially with the gray helmet, gray gloves, black boots. I love it with the Husqvarna. The yellow accents. Mwah. Amazing. So uh, thank you so much to him for making me this kit. And uh, yeah, let's, let's, do, let's run some more laps on this track. Um... So here's another thing that I wanted to talk about, which is what am I going to do when I hit 1k subs? Because I, I know I will. I'm going to keep posting and we are gaining so fast. So what am I going to do? Put your put your, your suggestions in the comments. Um, probably, probably not a face reveal just for privacy reasons. Um, I don't really know. Bro, did I run? Probably not a face reveal just for privacy re reasons. I don't really feel like showing my face on YouTube. Um, maybe sometime in the future, but probably not. Um, and yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, I don't really have any other big ideas that I could do. Maybe, probably a giveaway of some sorts. I'm probably going to give away like something like $25 on shop to some viewer. Um, yeah, I don't really know how that would work. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I don't know, man. What else? Um, but, like, I don't know. This map's, it's not even, like, the texturing on, of course, the texturing on this map is crazy, but, like, just the, the tree, it's everything that ties into it. Like, the, the, the rails along the outside, the trees, the lake, this lake, his water. Hold on, let's take a second to appreciate this water. His water is some of the, like, most insane, like, most realistic-looking water I've seen in maps. 
Um, so props. Looks amazing, dude. Um, <laughs> I don't really know how we were just able to ride through it. Um, we don't really have water physics. Actually, we, we do have a little bit of water physics in MX Bikes. But that's mostly in, in, in eh, that's mostly in enduro, and I don't know a lot of people who ride enduro. Um, most people ride this game for MX and SX, so yeah. But dude, I don't even know what to say, what else to say about this map. Um, I will leave the link down below if you guys would like to check this out. We're coming up on uh, about six minute mark in the video for me, um, so yeah. Um, we'll talk a little bit more. Um, we'll probably do... We'll finish this lap, and then let's do let's do one more. Maybe make it somewhat of a shorter video. Um, I'm not really sure what lap times go for this, but I believe Linz was able to run like a 130 on his first couple laps on this. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, check this out more. Um, uh, I do like the kind of pre-made textured ruts. I think those are really nice. Um, you can reset track and still have some clean lines to ride, even though I'm <laughs> I'm going everywhere right now. I am all over the place. I can't ride in a straight line. Or, um, I can't ride the lines. Uh, I'm not really sure what speed to ride this map in. I've been riding, like, more towards third gear, so I have more power for things, but... It's definitely, it's all sand, so it is going to have a little bit of a different, uh, I guess, riding style texture to it, um, because we do not have sand tires anymore. We only have mid-soft and then, like, the weird OEM ones, uh, but, yeah, um, I don't know, it's, it definitely takes some skill, um, I, I'm only... I think I'm, I'm at the 270 hour mark in MX Bikes, but, yeah, here, let's see about this. We're, I think this is my favorite section up here. There, there's that massive, um, like, v almost vertical jump that I missed. Uh, it's over here. Let's, here, let's hit it again. Yeah, so you come around the berm, you come around the berm at the beginning of this, at the beginning, and then you hit this almost vertical, if not vertical, jump. Absolutely crazy. I don't even know how these bikes don't loop out on it. Um, take, I think the line here is go here, and then you can make it clean and tear. Uh, let's try outside here. Can't really reel these corners. That's the one thing, is like, that I think he did really well is he managed speed really well on this map is um you you have to you can't just go wide open you can't just go wide hold the throttle down and just pray um you there's some speed management you have to watch what lines you take the what like e-road you have and the roughness but I just went into a pit finish up this lap and then I think we'll end the video there but I think we're almost through. Uh, I don't know. Make sure to, uh, like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs, like I was talking about earlier. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but... I don't know, man. It's just a goal of mine. I've, uh, I think I've grown from... I'm at 800 subs as of yesterday when I'm recording this. Um, and, yeah, I was at 150 subs. Ooh, nice little wheelie. I was at 150 subs three months ago, so thank you so much for the support, guys. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. That'll be the end of the video. And, uh, yeah. Make sure to join my Discord down below. Um, I have, like, all of my stuff posted there. You can talk to the community. And, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace. I am IBS Kelso's son. Any, any, mom? Oh my God, what up on top? Sip me water.